Hi everyone and happy Lamas. We are now in the first harvest of our wicking year. The second harvest is Maybon on September 21st. The third and last harvest is on October 31st. So when? Today is the slow beginning of autumn. You might start to notice the leaves starting to get colored red, orange, brown, start to fall down. Lamas is the first day of the rest of our lives. It's really the time for witches to buckle down and get themselves together. Get yourself all the way together. Lamas is the beginning of the first harvest. What do you want to bring into your life until we get to Samhain on October 31st? What do you really want? We also have a full moon on the 3rd. The goddess Hikate will be at the height of her power that's the time to do any type of spell ritual curse or hex that you feel needs to be done at that particular time lamas is all about change lamas is all about bringing in abundance bringing in prosperity bringing in what we really want in our lives anything i'm talking about anything this is a large lamas is a very large sabbath of ours it's all about being thankful for the summer months that are about to slowly pass away now listen it's hot here in new york city it is boiling hot here but it's not always going to be like this eventually the air will become cooler the nights will become longer eventually every single witch starting the day after Lamas will reap what they have sown. You will get back what you have put in. Every witch, listen to me, every single witch will get back what they have put in. Every witch. Every single witch will reap what they have sown. As above, so below, what you send out will manifest here on earth, rightfully so. We know this. Lamas is also all about change. Lamas is also all about change. There are changes happening. They may not be noticeable at first, but there are changes happening in our relationships, our romantic relationships, our careers, the world, even in the midst of a pandemic. Listen, even in this midst of a pandemic, global pandemic that we are currently in, there is still opportunity. There is still absolute opportunity to prosper. There is. Yes, we are going through a very hard couple of months, but we still have a couple of months before 2020 comes to a close. It doesn't have to end. Listen, 2020 does not have to end like how we started off in March. It does not have to end that way. It all depends on what people do and what people don't do. It's all about choices. It's all about choices. Somebody needs to write that down. It's all about choices, witches. It's all about choices. Put aside the pandemic a little bit to the wayside and think about you. Think about your kin. Think about your career. Think about your life in total. How do you want it to come to a completion on October 31st, South when our new year? Think about it. There is still optimum opportunities out there for every witch who is willing to see past this global pandemic and see the opportunities, see the opportunities to prosper, see the opportunities to have abundance, see opportunities to still have a magical filled life. Having a magical filled life is the birthright of every witch. Somebody needs to write that down. Having a magical life is the birthright of every single witch. Don't let what's happening in the world stop you from living a magical filled life. Today, August 1st, 2020, is Lamas. The first harvest. So what are you bringing in today? No, seriously. Harvest is just what you think it is. What are you bringing in? What are you bringing in? Are you bringing in baggage? 
Are you bringing in more opportunities to be fulfilled, to have happiness, to have love, to have money, to have beautiful clothes, to have a better car, to live in a better neighborhood? What are you bringing in today? Think about that for for llamas. Think about that. What are you harvesting? What are you harvesting? Think about that. It's important. So I want to wish all of you, on behalf of myself, High Priestess, Boris and Phoenix, on behalf of my coven, Coven of the Phoenix, a very prosperous llamas.